Now this method attains the robust design by modeling not just the controllable factors as we do in conventional uh, design of experiments, but also considering the noise factors. We had been uh, talking about these noise factors, what exactly is a noise factor. So let's take an example. Let's say um, we are designing a printer. One of the noise factors would be the paper type. As we do not have any control on the paper type, that will be used by the uh, consumer and it does impact the print quality. So this method allows us to conduct experiments at different levels of the noise variables to factor in their impact and then accordingly design the product. So in this video, we will walk through the Taguchi's method to learn how this technique is used in creating robust designs. Every concept has, has got a core belief on which its methodology is built upon. Taguchi's loss function drives the objective of the Taguchi's design. The objective being to design a process that not just complies to the customer specifications but also maintains the process mean at the target. According to Jeniki Taguchi, every time the process deviates from its target, there is loss to the customer and producer. Larger the deviation from the target, larger is the loss. This quality loss is proportional to the square of the deviation of mean from the target, shown as t here, where y is the process mean. The function has m by d as a constant where m is the monetary loss to the producer when process goes beyond the specs and d is the tolerance where about 50% of the customers view the product as defective. Now this quality loss is not just due to the deviation from target but variation in the model also plays a significant role in this. So if QA is the average quality loss per unit of the product in a sample that follows a distribution whose mean is given by mu and a standard deviation by sigma then QA is proportional to the sum of square of the deviation of mean from the target and the variance. Now looking at the quadratic loss function for Taguchi's uh, designs here we have a process at mean, mu and standard deviation sigma. The effort in a robust design is to ensure that this mean is always aligned with the target. Conventionally, when uh, our process output goes beyond the defined specifications, we tag that output as defective. But in case of Taguchi's designs, Whenever the process output deviates from the target, moves away from the target, there is a loss to the customer. So it's important to understand how the core belief of the Gucci's designs differ from the traditional design methods. Traditionally, uh, what we believe is when the process output is within the specs, process is capable to meet the customer requirements. Only when it deviates beyond the specs, the defects occur and customer is impacted. But in Taguchi's designs, quality is when the process output is at the target. Every time process mean deviates from the target and there is variance in the process, quality loss will be there. That's why Taguchi's method follows an approach which minimizes the impact of variation on response, neutralizes the impact of the noise and thus ensures process mean is at the target.